So this is a book that came in that collection of stuff that I got from the auction. And it um, goes through a number of different things. Um, some basic physical chemistry, uh, nuclear radiation and its effects, a uh, brief overview of atomic theory using the planetary model of atomic theory, a few paragraphs on um, energy and uh, energy in an electron, electron volt, etc., etc. And then it jumps into some physical chemistry around the decay um, products of uranium and neptunium and plutonium and things like that. So, and then it gets into um, uh, atomic radiation radioactive decay. So, um, introduces uh, notions of units, um, the Curie and the Rutherford, and then a brief overview of what happens to humans when they're exposed to radiation. It um, talks about detecting nuclear radiation, um, how to uh, look at things like cloud chambers, ionization chambers, um, what the various uh, energies are of subatomic particles that are available to be detected, some introduction to counting tubes, and then we get into some really fascinating stuff, like some, some circuits using tubes that allow you to um, create uh, an electrometer, which is basically, you know, it's detecting radiation and it uses the radiation to adjust the circuit and you can count pulses and things like that. Um, so, yeah, and then some full-on schematics of Geiger tube instruments. Um, and I think in here somewhere would be the one that was available. What? Aw, it's the cutie pie. I am not joking. It's the cutie pie. Um, some... Uh, that, no, that's the technical associates. In any event. Nuclear Chicago. Um, and uh, so that was that's a section on a vacuum tube detection circuits, and then there's some solid state detection circuits that include some transistor um, circuits, and then counter tubes, things like that. So, yeah, it's um, a comprehensive guide to oh, dosimeters, yeah. Um, so, you, basically, radiation dose can be um, detected a number of different ways, like if you've ever worked in a hospital in a radiation environment, one of the things that you'll have to wear is a dosimeter. And one of the thing, one of the ways that you detect um, radiation is by um, having a, a photographic plate that's not exposed to visible light, but still is, a, but it will still detect um, uh, radiation, and it will show up, and you can count the number of times that some um, ionizing particle has hit the film, because it produces a um, either a um, light from um, some uh, some cascade effect on a uh, on a semiconductor or just directly yeah so yeah you can you've got you've got those oh a dosimeter being inserted into its chamber wow they couldn't they couldn't possibly not have a book that doesn't have like a booth babe in it right couldn't in any event yeah. Um, this is a nice little introduction. Oh, and then home-built counters. If you want to build your own, look at that. It's pretty simple. Headphones, some uh, 1B86 tube, and which is a Geiger tube, um, a resistor, and a battery. Extremely simple. So you can hear the ticks. And then, are they going to show the schematic? Yeah, counter with the... So, 
some of the things that you can do is you can amplify you need to amplify the signal and things like that so you're not listening for very very faint ticks but we do need to get ourselves a Geiger tube if we're going to do any playing with the Geiger counter that I got at the auction because it did not come with a Mueller tube so you know what I think I am going to go onto eBay and Oh, gamma rays and their effect on potatoes. I wonder if it has an indication on. Oh, those are pretty funky ten, uh, tendrils. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to have to go onto YouTube and find myself a uh, find myself a, uh, a Mueller tube to attach to my Geiger counter because this just seems like too much damn fun to not play with. Anyways, yeah. Something for a future episode. <laughs>